everybody. Welcome to Uplift 101. It's been a minute. Today I want to talk about the million dollar question. And if nobody knows the million dollar question, the question is, why do we struggle? This is the most challenging question that the Christian community has. When the world comes toward us, they ask us, why do we struggle? Or they ask, if you have such a loving God, then why does he allow what he has created to struggle? Well, a lot of people have different versions, different answers, uh, uh, different reasons. So I just want to share what I got out of, of it in my answer. Um, why do we struggle? Let's think about the Old Testament, the book of Job. Okay, Job, he was a just man in God's eyes. And there was a little challenge going on between the devil and the God. The devil, you know, oh, Job's gonna, you know, curse you and die. Just let me, let me get hope to him and we'll see how faithful he is and blah, 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 blah. Okay, so Job loses kids, his cattle, money, his, his farm, everything, everything is gone. And at that time, Job, he didn't understand, you know, well, why am I going through this? Why why am I going through these trials and tribulations? Why am I struggling so hard when I know that I'm doing right? I know what I'm doing, uh, what pleases God. So after all that happened, then he got sick and broke out everywhere and um, balls everywhere and stuff. And his wife was like, well, you know, he's not what just gone and, and just curse God and die. But Job, he told his wife, the Lord gives and the Lord take away. The whole time Job was struggling and going through, he prayed. And he he prayed and he waited for an answer from God. What, what's going on? Lord, I trust you, but I don't understand what's going on. I need an answer. You can know, save me. Okay, so through his suffering, he, he began to understand the importance of praying and trusting God. It is very important that when we go through these struggles, you know, Lord, I trust you. Um, I know it has to be a purpose. It got to be a reason why I'm going through this. So, Lord, I'm just going to just gonna trust you, even though I don't understand it. It's, it don't feel good right now, but I'm going to trust you. See, God has a purpose. He, he has a plan for everything. Everything already laid out, okay? You know, Romans 8, 28 say, we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, okay? Who have been called according to his purpose. So that means, even though I might be going through this struggle right now, even though this step is thrown in my way, I know once I get over that problem, my life is going to be better. It's going to be a blessing <clears throat> behind this struggle. It's going to be something good going to happen. Okay, suffering, trials, tribulations. If we keep praying, it will make us closer to God. Okay, I truly believe you that that's the, the real reason that we struggle and go through stuff the most because God wants us to turn to Him for the answers and not man. He wants us to come say with Him and pray to Him and call out to Him when it comes to what we're going through you know most people they think that they can say they self. they all up on their high horse oh i can do this and i can do that and i don't need god but wait god got a way of pulling pulling that person right on down off his pedestal let him know i'm god i'm god and you're gonna need me just wait. Wait till you get sick on your dying bed, lost a job, your marriage all messed up, about to lose your house, about to go to jail. We start calling up, Lord Jesus, please help me get out of this. If you just help me get out of this, I will go to church and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> God always has a way to bring us closer to him through struggles, through hard times, through dark hours. Even Jesus struggled. He did. He was tempted. He was beat, tortured. He was hungry. And he thirst and executed. So, if Jesus went through all of this, what makes us think we any better? That we can't go through a struggle. That we can't go 
go through stuff. We can't endure what's going on and just lean and depend on God and trust and believe that, you know, I know God got this. I know it. And you just got to believe. You know, it, it might seem like that he's not there. You might seem like, oh, it, I'm just alone. I don't have anybody. But I trust me, he's there. He's there when ain't nobody else there. And when you think that you all alone, don't. Because God is always there. And I'm going to read this scripture and then I'm going to say goodnight. We do not, um, I'm sorry, 2 Corinthians 1st chapter. And we're going to start at the 8th verse. We do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about the hardships we suffer in the province of Asia. We were under great pressure, far beyond our ability to endure, so that we despair even our life of life. Indeed, in our hearts we felt the sentence of death, but this happened that we might not rely on ourselves, but on God who raises the dead. He will deliver us from such a deadly peril, and He will deliver us. On Him we have set our hope. That he will continue to deliver us. Okay, there it go right now. Even though we go through problems, so we about to die. We know that God got our back. All we gotta do is trust, believe, pray, get closer to God. Uplift one on one.